feel good news. Number one, right place, right time. When Lito Mason overheard a single mom telling her son Zach she could not afford $20 for new shoes, he offered to buy Zach any pair in the store. Mason was shopping at a discount store in Meridian when he happened to notice a boy and his mom. The mom told her son money was tight as he picked out different shoes to try on. I told him we had a $20 budget and to be wise with what we choose. Mason was also shopping for shoes and he overheard the conversation between the mom and her son. She was working with a budget and I get that. We all get that at this time of year. Back to school. I asked him, so what type of shoes do you like? He said, I just want something that's comfortable. I was done. At that point, I said, I'm going to get him whatever he wants. Zach's mom couldn't believe what she was hearing from a total stranger and posted a photo of Mason with her son on Facebook to remember this incredible act of kindness. Good people in the world. Number two. Jimmy Thompson posted a photo of the Wichita police officer who was mowing the lawn of his elderly aunt. Thompson wanted to find the officer to express his gratitude. The police department determined it was Officer Josh Lewis. Thanks to everyone, we found out his name is Officer Lewis. Me and my cousin went to Patrol South and left him a thank you gift, Thompson wrote in an update. That's so nice. See, not all police are bad. Every job has some bad people. Doesn't mean everyone is bad. Now in Colombia, as part of the reforestation strategy to plant 180 million trees in the country over the next four years, Colombians planted 200,000 trees in one day. Through the Bosques de Vida seeding, 200,000 trees were planted throughout the department, thanks to the joint work between the community and the environmental, local, and regional authorities of Antigua. These trees add to the goal of the National Development Plan Pact for Colombia, Pact for Equity, to plant 180 million trees in the country over the next four years. Well, that's a good start. More than 400 people joined the planting of 200,000 trees in 125 municipalities. Ricardo Lozano, the Minister of Environment, said, Today in the sowing of Antigua, 200,000 trees were planted, and in two months we will be able to plant 400,000 more. That's a lot of trees, folks. That is one beautiful concerted effort. That's great. And number four. This is a special one. A boy is choosing to meet his bone marrow donor over a trip to Disney World. Six years ago, seven-year-old Gabriel Smith received a life-saving bone marrow transplant at the St. Louis Children's Hospital. Oh my goodness, he was only one. Last week, Gabriel met the man who helped save his life and he gave up a trip to Disney World to make it happen. I have a feeling this little boy is going to still go to Disney. Gabriel was diagnosed as an infant with aplastic anemia. Doctors discovered he had bone marrow failure and needed a transplant. Luckily, halfway around the world was 25-year-old Dennis, a carpenter in Germany. They found Dennis through the Be The Match registry and on the day of the transplant, they told us he was a 19-year-old from Europe. That's all they were allowed to tell us. He agreed to the operation and went on with his life, not knowing what happened with his donation. On October 16, 2013, 14-month-old Gabriel received the life-saving bone marrow transplant. The Make-A-Wish Foundation approached the Smith family earlier this year about granting a wish to Gabriel. At first, he said, take my donor to meet Mickey, but we couldn't do that. So he was asked to choose one, meet your donor or go to Disney. He chose to meet his donor, Dennis, without any hesitation. This is a seven-year-old boy, special little boy. Make-A-Wish Illinois arranged to, to fly Dennis from his hometown in Germany to Illinois to meet Gabriel and his family. He is part of our family now, Smith said. 
He bonded instantly with Gabriel and our other two kids, Abby and Xavier. The Smith family plans to stay in touch with him through social media until they meet again. We have plans that if we ever get to Disney World, he's coming with us. We want him to go because he deserves everything that we can do for him. Again, the kindness of a random stranger. There are so many good people out there. Unfortunately, they get hidden in the brush, <laughs> which is sad, but it's true. So we need to bring them out. All right, well, thank you, and I hope you have a great, late day.